Edwin Ajimi fighting from California, Northridge. Um, is a student of my very good friend Romulo Barral. Amazing fighter, my amazing warrior. Amazing coach as well. Yeah. Look, look, look at all the great guys coming out of his camp. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> um, Romulo is a really great com uh, competitor and a very in a great uh, coach as well. Yeah. Edwin just has that tall stance. It's like the most unorthodox standing stance ever. He, the wrestling coach could it. see him. He's like, this is all wrong, dude. You need, to, yeah. you need a lot of work. But again, he pulls it off. He's just so confident that he can shoot on his legs at, at will. He just doesn't care. And because he puts in situations that is not very usual, the opponents get a little bit frustrated too. Yeah. Or maybe cautious, too cautious. Man, this is too easy, but shall I, shall I not? They start to exchange some slaps on the back of the, <laughs> the neck over there. I really like the posture that uh, Edwin has that kind of giving a little bit to get something else. He just comes forward completely not caring about what Chago may do. Like normally you walk into someone that tall without a stance, you're going to get taken down. But he's just so confident on his defense and his scrambles and his counters that it's almost like he wants his opponent to shoot on him. The thing is, one thing that Edwin's very dangerous is on the flying triangles and people when they go on takedowns, if you don't put your head on the right spot, you might get shot out there. When the takedown, he jumps straight away to the triangle. So it's dangerous. You cannot careful. just go. He's fast, right? Here we go. Yeah, that was a good shot. Chavo That's really sharp on that triangle defense. I'm sure he prepared for it. Was that a sweep? Get back up, huh? If he gets out of the full-off, there's no risk. It could be. That was sweet. No. Uh, no. I would have given a sweep myself. Yeah. Oh, he did. That is two points. Here we go. He did. That's the thing, if you shoot out on, on the footlock and you start losing the footlock on the bottom, you're going to get the points taken. Yeah, it's a risky strategy, especially in the beginning. If you're far behind or far ahead, it, you know, it makes sense for you to attempt something like that, but when the score is too even, soon. Yeah, too soon. Especially in a five minutes round, you know, that's you giving a, a, a ten points to your opponent. And, and once you're behind, too, it changes the, the dynamic of the match. That's a very good approach on the arm triangles of that way far. Nice, ah, you know he's setting up that he's stars. On the that, elbow. That's, that's oh, it. we go, the arm triangle. Is he going to get it? The first it. finish of the night. Seems okay. really tight for me. He needs to go towards his hips. It's on. He thinks he needs to go towards his hips. a tap. Yeah, a tap in two and a half minutes. That is Edwin Najimi, first submission of the night. Defeating the super tough Thiago Abreu. But, man, that Dars was on. Yo, yeah.